What is up guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we have a very good video for you guys today. So I emailed my attorney today and said, hey, I'm like, I've got a lot of people asking, you know, like who won the truck, you know, has, has the winner been drawn yet? Who's been picked up my like, guys? I don't know. I haven't heard and I don't get told that a winner has been drawn and selected until after it's already been done. They've been contacted, the paper's been signed to release the prize to them, stuff like that. So I'm not the first person to hear about that, so I don't get to hear about it until after they've already been selected and they already know they wanted all that stuff. And then my attorney tells me, um, and then he lets me know that it's okay to call them and uh, post up about it. So anyways, that being said, we do have a winner for the 1997 F350, which by the way, I want the extra mile and I know the oil drip was like, there's a lot of guys like guys, it's literally like, it would drip like, a little puddle like half the size of a dollar bill um, only after a super cold crank like after 24 hours had gone by there'd be like a little tiny little drip spot and I'm like okay every diesel I've owned drips more than that except I mean the Duramax doesn't leak anything Longhorn doesn't leak anything um, but I'm like for an older truck I'm like come on you know give it a break but that being said and given that I wanted to make sure everything was up to spec I took the truck to a shop that does they've done all the work on our 73 they just did the oil cooler and all that other stuff on the other 73 um, they've always they've done all of our injectors they've done the glow plugs on that truck all that stuff and so I took my 73 up to them and they're very reputable for the area for power stroke stuff and I'm like I want this truck to be gone through I want to make sure everything is perfect. I want the truck to be able to fire up on a dime. I don't want it to be dripping any oil. I want the rear window motors to work, all that stuff. So just get it done. I don't care what it costs. Just get it fixed because I want to make sure whoever has this truck, I don't want them to have anything to complain about. You know, like I want the truck to be running perfect for a long, long time. So they're like, no problem. Drop it off. So I got it dropped off. They're doing all new glow plugs. They're doing glow plug relays. They're going to be doing the oil cooler just to make sure there's no little oil drip, even though it really wasn't that bad. I've seen a lot of them. They're leak way more than that one ever did but he said it'll be perfect when i get it back and they're going to fix the rear window motor so that the all four windows can go up and down from the front controls and the rear controls um so that, that's the works for you guys i haven't gotten to the sound system on that truck yet and i don't know if i will or have time to it just depends we'll call the winner here in a bit that was just the last thing on my list i know some guys are like dude but i want to play music and i'm like guys I get it, you know what I mean? But I'd rather make sure the truck runs perfect and starts perfect um, over making sure, you know, the, the the subs are hooked up in the back seat. Like that was just the last thing that I was really concerned about. Really none of that other stuff had me too concerned. I just wanna make sure it's perfect. I just don't want any issues with it. We're gonna give our guy here a call. I believe his name is Michael and he's from North, wait, North Carolina? North Carolina or South Carolina? I'll, we'll call him and ask him. Keep in mind, he's already known that he's won. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up? Is this Michael? Hey, what's up? How you doing? How you doing, man? What's up? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know, I can't complain. It's a really good day. Yeah, it's a pretty good day, huh? Yeah. Bet it's an extra good yeah. day, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's up, man. Doing good, doing good. So, uh, so, dude, I gotta ask. I gotta ask. First off, I hope you're doing good. But I gotta ask, what was your thoughts when you got the phone call today? Hey, first, I almost didn't pick up. So I was like, I was like, what's the number calling me? And then I thought, man, I almost wrecked the car. I was in the car when I had a like when they said it. Yeah, yeah. Because I got an got OBS and I almost, yeah, I got a, and the motor blew up in it. So I'm going, through, I'm a diesel mechanic anyway. So I'm going through putting the motor in and stuff right now. So I had to borrow my wife's car today so I could get to work. And when they called, I was shocked. When you say shocked, you mean like you thought maybe was uh, pulling, somebody was pulling your leg or some kind of scam caller or something like that? Or like, what was your, like, what were you thinking? Yeah, yeah. No, I was. Yeah, I wasn't either. I was kind of like I emailed my attorney last night. And I'm like, hey man. I'm like everybody's kind of wondering like who won and stuff. And he's like, yeah. He's like, I just drew the guy. He's like, I'll give him a call in the morning. And he didn't tell me who it was. The, the way that agency works is they don't tell you who it is until they contact you. They, you know. They go through all the stuff with you and just make sure everything's nailed down. Then they give me permission to give you a call. And so I think what a lot of people don't understand is when I make these videos is they think that this is your initial reaction. And I'm like, I they already know they won by the time I give them a call. You know what I mean? They are, they've already had a little bit of time to process it. But so, yeah, man. So a couple quick questions. The truck right now, I don't know if you saw my uh, Instagram stories, but I actually took it to a super reputable uh, power stroke shop nearby and they're doing all new glow plugs in there they're doing new glow plug relays they're doing a new oil cooler and new rear window motors on that truck and then everything should be 
top notch. It should be good to go. Shouldn't have any kind of issues with that kind of stuff. I did put brand new Napa Legend batteries in it too. So other than that, I mean, it, it doesn't have any, any kind of issues to speak of. Only thing is the radio is not hooked up to the rear subs, but I don't, I don't know how to deal with it. I've never been a music or wiring guy. I'm not really good at that kind of stuff. But other than that, I mean, it's a super pretty truck, dude. Yeah, I love it, man. I'm going to say, because I, I had seen one that was close to it around here. And, I mean, I was thinking it was like gray and white. And I was like, man, if I want that truck, I'm gonna mess, I guess I'm going to have to mess around it. You spend the money to get that one. I, yeah. like, I like the crew cab. I got the fitted cab, but that crew cab, you can't beat it, man. Yeah, it's a big truck. <laughs> it, it's it's a big roomy truck, that's for sure. There was just something about those OBS trucks. I didn't really think about it or really embrace it until I bought one. I'm like, dang, these things are just cool. Like, everybody just flags you down and waves at you going down the road. Like, it's nuts. Especially in that truck. It's just so pretty and it's just huge. The color scheme is beautiful on that thing. That blue paint looks so, so good with the white on it. Uh, where are you, exactly where are you located in Indiana? Yeah. If you're allowed to say, I don't know. Yeah, all the way up in North Indiana. You know what I mean? It says that it's a nine hour and 40 minute drive. The only reason I was asking is because I have to go to Indiana this weekend. Anyway, my wife's family is uh, from there. We're having a baby shower. Okay, okay. So, so I, I, you're, you're having a baby yeah, then? Yes, sir, we are. Congratulations, man. That's no, cool. I appreciate it. That's cool. How fun it would be to get car seats in and out of a 12 inch lifted truck on 40s, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's whatever you want to do, man. I have no problem paying to get it shipped down there to save you the uh -huh. hassle of having to try to drive it home because it might not be the most fun thing on a truck that big. Like that truck, I will take that truck three, four hours, no problem. But nine hours, 10 hours, 11 hours, I mean, it's it's a lot of truck to just to drive that far. You know what I'm saying? Either Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, whatever's better for you. Okay. And if you if you want, we can be Indy and then I'll trailer. I got, I've got the trailer, so I'll trailer it back. You'll trailer back? Do you have a do you have a pretty big trailer, Gooseneck? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just um, I bought my grandpa's truck and I'll bring it back. It ain't no big deal. Oh, I that mean, you give me a free truck. I'm not gonna try to make you pay the shipping and all that. The last thing I want to do is be like, hey, you want a free truck? Now you gotta pay for five hundred to eight hundred dollars worth of transportation between hauling it up, you know, driving up, hauling it back, stops along the way, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I just I just don't know everybody's situation, and I wouldn't wanna. Be like, oh, here you go. You know, here's a big bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I work tomorrow night. So I'll probably, I'll probably be up there about 6 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. And I, I'm pretty sure she does. We're not gonna do the baby shower stuff until like three, four, maybe five o'clock at the latest. I mean, that would work for me. It's been a pleasure talking to you. We can. Uh, you got my number, so uh -huh. you can text me. And we will nail down like an exact time, location, all that stuff to where uh, you can get a truck and trailer in there. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that's meet up with the truck. Yep, I appreciate you. Yeah, no, dude, I appreciate your support and uh, participating in the giveaway and buying the merch, watching the videos, all that. Thank you so much, man. I will text you. I'll keep in touch. All right, I thank, I thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day, man. Talk. You too, man. Thank you. Right, yeah, thank you. Bye. Nine hours and 45 minutes away. I actually, this morning, I booked a shipping truck. That's going to cost me over a grand to, I'm still going to compensate him. By the time you see this video, man, I'm still going to compensate you for the for the drive and your time and stuff like that. I'm going to grab you some cash and give you some cash and make sure that, you know, you're not pitching money out of pocket to do that. Even though you say you're already coming up to Indy anyways, on me, man. I told him I'd ship it. He insists on picking it up. These are real people, guys. Real freaking people. I don't know how to say it. And, you know, there's always these people. You're always going to have these people. Every single time. I don't know how to convince them or how to tell them or how to show them other than real people winning the trucks. And I always give you guys the Instagram to the winners and stuff like that if they have one you can go talk to these guys these are real people real people winning trucks you can go drop talk to them try to convince them that they're buying these trucks or it's not real it's as real as it gets you can't fake stuff like this and i've told people so many times so many times i'm like you cannot fake giveaways like this okay if these giveaways were fake if they were not real you do realize that i would be behind bars and slapped with massive massive fines I, especially, I have so many people watching me, so many people who are attorneys and lawyers and stuff like that, and people who know legal groups that are watching me every day. I can't get away with this stuff if it was illegal. So just keep that in mind, guys. You can't fake this, you can't scam it. It's a real, real, real thing, and real people are winning pickup trucks. Super, super cool, and I'm so excited for the guys. So thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And actually, one thing I'm gonna mention here, we're gonna make a video on the Duramax here. There's been some talk going around that LNP is doing a Duramax giveaway here soon. 
and um, let's just say that it's really happening. We're giving away Duramax, guys. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. February 22nd at midnight, the Duramax giveaway goes live, so do not forget, put that on your calendars, mark it, set your alarm clocks, 12 a.m., February 22nd, the giveaway for this LMM Duramax goes live. And no, this Duramax is not be, being given away the way that it is. It's gonna be the same rules, though. Every $15 will be another inch to win, all that stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this truck and we're gonna build it kinda different. I'm not sure exactly how I wanna build this truck, but I kind of am thinking, off-road bumpers, front and rear, not like a giant ranch hand with the big thing that goes around the headlights, but just like an off-road bumper, tactical bumpers, front and rear. And in terms of lift level or what, I don't know exactly what you guys wanna do. And comment down below, I need you guys' help because I wanna I want to build this truck for content for you guys to be able to watch that don't enter the giveaways. And for the 5% or less that do enter the giveaways, I wanna build the truck towards what you guys would wanna use. So, if you guys would use this truck, let me know down in the comments below. How would you want the truck set up? Would you guys want mud terrains? Would you just want all terrains? Would you want it leveled? Would you want it four inch lift? Cause it's not very high and you can still use the truck and be super usable, especially on a Chevy. They sit kind of low as it is. So it's not gonna be like a four inch lift at Cummins, the same as like a four inch lift at Duramax. It's still gonna sit a little bit lower than that. But let me know what you guys wanna see done with this truck. If you were gonna use this truck day in and day out, if you guys were gonna work it, run it, or just daily drive it, you don't need it to be practical. How would you want this truck? How much lift? What size wheels and tires? All that stuff. What are the accessories you would want under the hood, done in the interior possibly? What would you guys want done to this truck to make it your ultimate kind of like truck built to you if you were to win a Duramax? So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Leave a fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.